Hello! And this is the super special Q&A episode of the College Fund. Uh, why am I doing a Q&A three episodes in? Um, because the writing team, also known as my hands, are on strike this week uh, because I sprained them. So, low effort content, maximum ad revenue. That's the goal here. So, I asked you guys on Twitter that if uh, you give me your cues, I'll show you my A's. You can take that anywhere you like. Uh, let's go there right now. Okay, this is weird. It, as you can, it got four likes, but zero replies. That's, that's just weird. Okay, so what, what does that mean? Does it mean like, to see the Q&A, you don't want to actually give questions to it. Let's go over to, uh, let's go over to Cancer Book, number one source for dead memes. First question from Nicole Judy, I assume no relation. I assume it's kind of like all the, like the seven Patels that I know. It's, it's, it's just, it's just a name. Uh, can you do my calculus homework? That's uh, not not very women's lib of you, you know, relying on a man to get your work done. You got you got to stand up for yourself. Roast it. Next question uh, from Caleb Francois. How do you adjust to not sleeping and going off one meal a day in college? Okay, so so not sleeping. Uh, what I like to do to make sure to uh, set a nice regular schedule is you uh, have a an alarm you get up to, preferably two every day. And if you want to, and to help with that, I recommend putting the alarms that make sure they sound different and that they're in two different places of the room. And so you have to get up and turn them off. And to help with you getting out of bed, try to make sure that you have a reason to get out of bed every day. Give yourself that motivation. Going off one meal a day in college, um, as long as that meal contains enough nutrients and calories to uh, last you the whole day, I see no problem with that because I think that's an excellent uh, diet plan to avoid the freshman 10, it's, uh, at least in the rest of the world, in America, it's the freshman 30,000 pounds. Oh, right. Okay. In all seriousness, um, planning your schedule, definitely avoid those fluctuations where you're just like waking up at noon, eating a meal, and then doing a ton of homework, and then going right back to bed, and then just doing it all again tomorrow. I, I know nothing about that. I'm just giving helpful advice. Uh, Sarah Rice says, are you going to join the film club or the nerd culture club? Uh, the film club, because uh, I already have to be on that side of town when they meet anyway, so it'll be really convenient for me. And I'm not going to join the nerd culture club, because uh, I find that many nerds gathered in one place to be dangerous to my mental health, and uh, that's something you really got to be in charge of when you're in college and making your own decisions. So are you, are you trying to follow me? Are you, are you stalking me? Alright, from Benjamin Hoyle. Describe college food with only words not pertaining to food. What is this, a challenge video? Pro tip, if you want to get that mad YouTube money, challenge videos with hot people. You will get so many views. That's essentially how BuzzFeed Blue operates. And they, they make so much uh, ad revenue, but they also don't have any souls, so risk reward. Uh, but I'll do it anyway, I'll do it anyway. Describe how words not pertaining to food. Eh? <laughs> okay, that's that. Uh, <laughs> Next question from Conrad. My last name is incredibly difficult to pronounce. Uh, describe a car with only words pertaining to food. All right, uh, I got the answer for you right here. Random does not equal funny. Get wrecked. <laughs> Fixed himself this time. Thoughts on school rivalries, uh, comparison to gaming consoles, and restaurant comparisons. Okay, so there's a, it's a bit to unpack there. No, so okay, so school rivalries. Um, thoughts on school rivalries. Uh, I was never. That's usually based on a sports thing or. Maybe there's some like old school beef branch out of sports rivalries in general. That's mostly for making money off selling merchandise, which I guess that's kind of scummy, just trumping up this rivalry because you know, when you really think about it, it's like what makes a college objectively better in the sports department than another college? I just mean it's football games are basically most usually football games. No one talks about the intense rivalry between racquetball teams, which is a sport that has been in hibernation since 1987. But it's fine. It gets it gets people into the sports stands. They sell tickets. It's it's all in good fun. There's nothing, no harm, no foul there, unless if you know it gets becomes there becomes harm and foul. In that case, I'm like, come on, it's just a game, people. It's just sports. Your your personal life does not uh, get destroyed when someone says they don't like your college or they don't like 
your team, uh, which this is a great segue into gaming console rivalries, which are uh, incredibly toxic for zero reasons. Like, except for maybe, like, if you were a huge fan of Nintendo consoles, because they're the last ones that actually have exclusives on there. But uh, if you're Xbox, Pl PlayStation, or PC, you all get the same games anyway. Um, graphics, uh, and this day and age, you're really splitting hairs between console and PC. Not, not to mention that the fact they're coming out with upgraded consoles that are basically turning into PCs anyway, so console rivalries are pretty much pointless, and, they're, and those are definitely, that's all just marketing. There's no, has any fun when they're like shouting out someone else down because they don't have the same rectangular black box that you do. All right, uh, restaurant comparisons, restaurant rivalries. Okay, that's an interesting one. A local thing where like the lo one local burger restaurant's across the street from another, I think, you know, there's a little friendly rivalry there. I mean, that makes sense. They're, they're fighting for business, but like, like companies try to put out these rivalries. Like, when, like I saw an Arby's commercial the other day that was just, that threw Chick-fil-A under the bus because they only sold chicken. And I'm like, you know, if, out of all the things you attack Chick-fil-A for, you attack them for just serving chicken, not for the homophobia stuff, but, um, but for just because they serve chicken. It doesn't work because as someone who has eaten at an Arby's once and made it out alive, it's just stupid. And again, according to the movie Demolition Man, in the future, after the franchise wars, only Taco Bell will remain as the sole restaurant. But there's like, I can I can see my producer's face just imploding on itself, but like they explain it as like, there's like different tiers of Taco Bell. It's like regular, then there's like fancy Taco Bell. And she's, my, my producer's just cringed to death. Do they come with a side of Tums? Um, I assume it's just in the drinking supply at that point. If, <laughs> they serve it in a dog bowl? Possibly. I mean, though, though, though to be fair, if you haven't seen Demolition Man, it's actually a really fun watch. Um, it's, ve it's very 90s, because it has Stallone almost acting, has Rob Schneider being an insufferable human being, and uh, Wesley Snipes uh, being really cool. I've got this fun challenge, possibly a let's play for double the AdSense. It's called the Find Sonic Challenge, and what it is is that you go to DeviantArt, you have a random word generator come up with a list of words, or if you're too lazy to do work yourself, you have a producer do it for you. Say hi, producer. Thrilling. And you put the word or phrase into the search of DeviantArt, and you scroll for 30 seconds and see if you can find Sonic. Because uh, the, so the Sonic fans, they, they, uh, they make quite a lot of fan art, and it all gets regurgitated onto DeviantArt. Are you ready? Do you want to explain the point system? Oh, uh, the points. Oh, yeah, points. Uh, five points for a Sonic, one point for every other cliché DeviantArt fandom, so that includes uh, My Little Pony, Furries, Anime, um, and just bad art in general. All right, so three, two, one, and sh let's play. The Count. first word is dolphin. First word is dolphin. Okay, we're probably going to get a lot right. of Lisa Frank stuff, so... Ready? Yes. Go. Okay, picture of dolphin, a picture of a dolphin, some mediocre liner of a dolphin, dolphin toy... Fifteen. Is that dolphin's mating? Possibly. I'm going to give a point. That's a point for weird, for just weird shit. Um, one of those glass things. Time's okay. up for dolphin. Okay, so that's, um, that's the one point for that. Another point for this terrifying thing. Another point for this weird dolphin person. And that's another point for furries. I don't know, whatever the hell the, the word is for uh, dolphin. Oh. Next word on the list is wacky. Wacky, okay. And, uh, go. Okay. Wacky races, okay, that makes sense. This looks like a, a comic course with some Zelda fandom crap. Oh, burrito. That's a point for LOL XD random. Deadpool. Nope. So you got a Slender Man. That's an old meme. That counts. Next one is hello. Hello. It's meme. <laughs> and go. Back. So, oh, let's see. It's a point for weeb shit. Um, so a bunch of cats. Dogs. Oh, My Little Pony. That's Undertale. That's another point. Points are meaningless. Um, terrifying. This one's gonna generate a lot of bonus points for the anime nonsense. You can hopefully got a bulk discount on sensor. All right, next word. Next one is dinosaur. Dinosaur. Well, this one might actually get us some Sonic. The other, first couple, not so sure, but this one might actually get some Sonic OCs. And go. Wait for it to load. Uh, okay, that's actually some, some decent artwork. That's just a lazy Photoshop. Those are toys. That's a frog. <laughs> 
That's some looks like some Lisa Frank stuff. Fifteen. Okay, that's just cool. That's a, is that a freaking T Rex with robot arms and a laser cannon? Ooh, bonus points for cool art. Yeah, yeah. Stuff from the left side of a plushie. That's just all right. Uh, next one is a uh, potato. Potato. Oh, the internet loves potatoes. Right up there with pugs and um, something else. Oh my god. Is and that... uh, hold on, ready? Oh god. Okay, go. Okay, that's a lazy Photoshop. That's some anime shit. Is that a Moe personification of a potato? Of course. Of course. Fight Pokemon, some anime stuff, references to Portal, delicious loaded baked potato, okay, shit posts, more more Pokemon, oh, My Little Pony, Oh. extra bone, just a woman sitting in a chair. What even is that? <laughs> Alright, the next one is um, Vaporwave. Vaporwave. Okay, so uh, let me tell you about Vaporwave. <laughs> hey, hey, we got fan art, Lisa Frank, furries in something called The Next Morning. Which is weird because if it's because if it's a morning after thing, wouldn't they be in line at the pharmacy? What your joke? No, the, the pic title of the picture. It's got some very naughty words. Uh, my little pony anime. This one's got a lot of the bonus points. That's just a top tier shit post. <laughs> That's a quality shit post right there. Aww. Oh, yeah, all right. So fast. This one's very meme-y. It is aesthetic. Ah, oh, ass. Is it regular? Is it spelled regularly, or is it gonna be? Is it spelled aesthetic, like ah, like with the whole Y text thing? Aesthetics. Yeah. Okay. Some of the ones from Vaporwave are back here again. Steampunk and a lot of loading, which probably means a lot of jifes, uh, uh, a, a lot of animated jifes. That's that's. I think that's some person wearing a wig. That's a that's the Uncanny Valley references for points. Okay, that's just a cool photo. M. C. Escher stuff. Space. Space. Just space. Just space. And space. Go. Okay, here we are. We're going. Space, some spaceships, some interesting names. The Horsehead Nebula, a uh, copy, an illegal copy of a comic. My Little Pony, I think. More anime. What's with you guys? Okay, I, I, I know an anime is popular on the internet, but does everything have to be anime? Where's the Sonic? <laughs> I was told DeviantArt was nothing but Sonic. Have ill-conceived stereotypes ever been wrong before? Uh, the next one, hopefully this generates a Sonic result. Um, it is fast. Fast. But there better be a Sonic. Fast and the Furious. Fast Food Mafia. Anime Eyes. Cheetahs, man on a bicycle, dog lady, very terrifying Pac-Man, um, helicopter, a hunky boy. Uh, oh, there's a Sonic! We have yes! Sonic! 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 <laughs> Sonic and the Roadrunner having a race. Well, this one's not that bad, actually. The Sonic's pretty good. In the last three seconds, too. Roadrunner, Roadrunner could use a little work. His tongue is not coming out of his mouth. It's just moved up a little bit, but uh, his eyes are in the wrong, a little bit, a little wrong. But we have a Sonic. Woo! Is that the last one? No. Okay. I actually have, have a bunch Sonic. more, so I don't know if I want to go. God, dude, there's another Sonic. We got two Sonics. Two Sonics, two Furious. <laughs> <laughs>